U.S. natural gas futures plummeted to around $1.70, hitting their lowest point since March 27. This sharp decline was primarily fueled by weakening demand forecasts for the upcoming week, partly due to a reduction in feed gas to the Freeport LNG export facility in Texas. Gas flows to the seven major U.S. LNG export plants, averaged 12.3 billion cubic feet per day thus far in April, down from 13.1 in March, and December's monthly peak of 14.7. Furthermore, market analysts revealed that gas production in the U.S. averaged 97.6 billion cubic feet this month, down from 100.8 in March, and December's monthly high of 105.6. Gas demand in the U.S. was expected to fall to 92.4 billion cubic feet this week, in contrast to the previous week's forecast of 99.3 billion cubic feet. A swing to stronger-than-normal demand will occur from Friday to Monday, as colder-than-normal weather systems sweep across the central, northern, and eastern U.S., bringing rain, snow, and lows of 20s to 30s, with highs of 40s to 50s, resulting in above-normal heating degree days. However, as is typical for winter, cooler-than-normal patterns rarely last more than a few days. This is once again the case, as much of the U.S. will warm above normal from April 24 to 30, with very pleasant highs of 50s to 80s, except for locally hotter temperatures in the 90s. European nat gas futures surged past 33 euros, marking their highest point since January 5, amidst ongoing tensions in the Middle East and disruptions in supply. Israel's military chief Halevi's statement regarding Israel's response to Iran's weekend attack added to the uncertainty, as the specifics of their retaliation remain unclear. Officials from Europe, Arab countries, and the U.S. have heightened their calls for Israel to exercise restraint and avoid escalating the situation further. Adding to the supply concerns, an unplanned outage at Norway's Nahamna processing plant led to a 15% reduction in gas flows to Europe since Friday. Furthermore, forecasts predict decreased winds and temperatures in northwest Europe, exacerbating the situation. Meanwhile, LNG imports from Asian countries, particularly China, have been increasing, with March seeing imports reaching 6.6 .6 million tons. The outlook for U.S. nat gas futures remains bearish due to high inventories, subdued demand, and the volatile influence of changing weather patterns. With the market prone to occasional price spikes in response to temporary oversold conditions or abrupt shifts in weather, traders should remain cautious. Gas prices are hovering around potential support at $1.68, but persistent selling pressure may undermine its stability. Sellers are anticipated to continue driving prices down, seeking substantial buying activity that could prompt a sudden upward shift. If a short covering rally ensues, prices might swiftly ascend toward the 50-day moving average at $1.87, potentially prompting the emergence of fresh sellers at that level. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to support the channel if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.